you so much. Several thousands woke up to a blackout today in New Orleans. A majority of those outages affected the mid city and central city areas and held up traffic as many of you tried to get out the road this morning. WDSU anchor Travers Macko joins us live with the latest on this energy outage. Travers. Yeah, Daryl, a big inconvenience for a lot of people across the city. But before we get to that, let's start off with the good news. According to the energy outage map, just over 200 people are still without power. A big inconvenience for those people, but that's way down from the 5,000 earlier this morning. Now take a look at this video. As you just mentioned, this happened at probably the worst time for drive time traffic right around 6, 7 o'clock this morning. A lot of people trying to get out the door, get their kids to school and get to work. And they dealt with a lot of power lights and street signs that just weren't working and weren't on. It led to traffic nightmares. A lot of businesses were trying to open up for the early morning hours for breakfast or to get up early, and they just couldn't do that. But like we said, in the last several hours, Entergy has worked rapidly to get the power back on. Now, the cause of this, according to Entergy, a driver right here where we are at Broad by Washington struck a power pole and knocked that power pole down, and that led to this outage. Nonetheless, a lot of business owners say it's a big problem for them. Well, I came to deliver and the power was out, so I had to use my phone to go into the cooler to get the delivery to get there for 8 o'clock across the river. And um, it was a pain in the butt, but we made it do it. We made it happen. And yes, I am glad that they got it back up. Yeah, I think a lot of people are glad that Entergy is getting this back up. Obviously, the city council in New Orleans regulates Entergy New Orleans. They have been pushing that company to harden the grid because a lot of these outages, even though this one dealt with a car striking a pole, cause problems for so many people when they happen, Daryl. We'll have more on this coming up at 4 o'clock. For now, we're live on Broad. I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News.